it's an indictment on the government's handling of the pandemic. Um, and to use language as that this was one of the worst public health failures in the UK, that is a damning indictment. Um, and my thoughts are with the families who've lost people because of these failures um, by the government. Um, but it wasn't just the slowness to respond, it was running down the NHS before the pandemic arrived and then the chaotic way that track and trace uh, was set up and far too slow. Um, so I think the government needs to um, accept the responsibility. Um, they're very good at blaming other people. They need to accept responsibility, apologise. I'm quite surprised today that the government hasn't found it within themselves to just go out and apologise uh, to the families, the bereaved families, um, and bring forward that public inquiry just as quickly as possible. There does need to be support for those um, industries, those businesses that are most affected because they're paying the price for the government's failure uh, to plan. We also need to protect the public from price hikes in relation to energy. But this problem has been a long time coming. For years, the government's been warned about this energy crisis. Uh, they haven't planned. Um, they haven't got a plan now to respond. All we're seeing, and I don't know what the public will make of this, is, is the chance from the business secretary squabbling publicly and the prime minister on holiday missing in action just when we need leadership, just when we need um, a plan. And I think the public will be tearing their hair out at the lack of leadership.